Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Dumi Chapo, bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. Joburg is interested in all things fast and engineering marvels. We'll be glad to hear that the Bloodhound Land Speed world record attempt is back on track after some funding challenges. With a year to go, Joburg Today picked up the Bloodhound Trail again in the Northern Cape. We are looking now, after six, seven years of, uh, of effort by the local community, at the best straight line racing track ever. It's the most extraordinary 20 kilometer, one kilometer wide, hand prepared surface with the best surface, the best weather. The reason why we cleared the stones by hand was that you have to keep the footprint that you make on the pan as small as possible because the reason that Bloodhound is coming here is because the surface that is here currently is the surface that they're looking for. It needs to be hard enough to actually take the four very small points of contact for a seven and a half ton metal wheeled jet car. It needs to be hard enough to cope with the uh, very violent pressure changes of supersonic airflow, not just around the vehicle, but particularly around each one of those four wheels. Um, it also needs a good weather factor. We're going to be out here for not just weeks, but probably months, running the car up and down, increasing the speed over the next two years up to 1,600 kilometers an hour. 317 Northern Cape residents removed around 1,600 tons or 2,500 tippet trucks of stone clearing an area on Huxkin Pan equivalent to the road surface of the N1 highway between Cape Town and Joburg. The head of the Land Speed Record Commission, Dennis Dean, who effectively heads up the, uh, the world governing body for Land Speed Record as part of the FIA, and even he came here, he said he's never seen anything like this. And what I saw yesterday, driving up and down at 180, 200 kilometers an hour, uh, giving the, uh, the journalist a very brief glimpse into the world's best straight line race track, track astonished me. It is consistent, it's smooth, it's fabulous. This is exactly the way we wanted it to be. But the Bloodhound project is about more than breaking the current longer standing and only supersonic land speed record of 1,228 kilometers per hour. It's an engineering adventure, it's a global story about the magic of technology and it's aiming that story at a generation of young people who will build and live in that high technology, low carbon, energy efficient world of tomorrow. All of the huge range of Bloodhound stories we're putting out there through the website, through social media, through all of the various uh, outlets are about sharing that story in the most amazing way possible. When we come here next year, we will be, for the first time in history, we're going to be streaming live video and live data. So tens of millions of people will be able to share the adventure live online as we do it. That's an opportunity to get the biggest engineering audience in history together to watch the most exciting engineering experiment in motor racing history happen right here in Hackskeen Pan. That we think is worth doing. There is still some fine tuning to do at the track before the Bloodhound supersonic car will aim for 1,300 kilometers per hour next year. A modified Bloodhound supersonic car will then attempt 1,600 kilometers per hour in 2017. Marisa de Clark, Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, JoburgToday.tv, and follow us on Twitter at JoburgToday. The biggest Porsche dealership in the world is right here in Africa's Big Apple, Johannesburg. To understand its strategic importance, we paid it a visit. This is the largest Porsche center in the world by footprint. We moved in here in 2008 and um, it's worked very well for us. It's, it's really a great Porsche lifestyle center.
Johannesburg is the centre of business in South Africa, Gauteng as well. But we also have a Porsche centres in Cape Town and in Schlanger. And we're currently building the fourth one now in Pretoria. We wanted to make sure that all the cars were under one roof, our, our new cars and our pre-owned cars. We wanted to make sure all our parts, body shop, marketing activities, training, uh, were under one roof. So that dictated, we didn't specifically want it to be the biggest. What happened was it just turned out that way. We do about a thousand Porsches a year here. Hi, this is Darren Simpson from The Breakfast Express on 947. You watching Joburg Today. That's all for today. For more on the city, do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumi Chapo, and the Joburg Today crew, it's goodbye.